will you ever let others write in the world? I mean, you know, I think of the, the Star Wars novels that were licensed. Would you ever license others to write in Westeros? In this video, I want to discuss what will happen to George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire saga if he's not able to finish it himself. Although this isn't something any of us like to think about, there are millions of fans who are still worried we will never see George R. R. Martin's official ending for A Song of Ice and Fire. And as much as I hate to say this, it almost feels inevitable as another year goes by without the author announcing a release date for The Winds of Winter. As you all know, The Winds of Winter is set to be the next release in the Game of Thrones saga. Author George R. R. Martin has already been writing The Winds of Winter for over a decade. In fact, he had already started writing it before Game of Thrones ever released its first episode. Then Game of Thrones went on to release eight seasons, and now it's been roughly five years since they aired the last episode. Even after a decade and a half of writing, it seems like there's no release date in sight for The Winds of Winter. Not only that, but if you saw his last update, then you know he basically said he hasn't been able to write anything new for almost a full year. Now, what makes this even more alarming is the fact that The Winds of Winter is only half of the ending. According to George R. R. Martin, his A Song of Ice and Fire saga will need seven novels in order to finish it. As of right now, he's only released five. So as much as we're all anxiously awaiting the release of The Winds of Winter, we still need A Dream of Spring to see how it actually ends. Now, although there are many fans who do believe we will see The Winds of Winter, almost everyone says we'll never see the release for A Dream of Spring. Unfortunately, I think they're right. I think we will get The Winds of Winter within the next five years, but I find it hard to imagine a scenario where he'll be able to finish the entire saga himself. This has always made me wonder if A Song of Ice and Fire would be left without an ending. This outcome would be incredibly sad. Not only because George R. R. Martin would no longer be with us, but also because we would never see his original ending for this amazing story. I don't think anyone wants Game of Thrones ending to be the only one that we have. Even if they are very similar, we would still want to know how the author would want his own story to end. Now, if you're familiar with George R. R. Martin, then you know he's always said he doesn't want anyone else writing it for him. And as far as I know, George doesn't have any children of his own either. Therefore, I'm not sure who, if anyone, would inherit the rights for A Song of Ice and Fire. Well, he might have already foreshadowed what will actually happen to his writing during an interview he did a number of years ago. Back then, he was happy this never happened with The Lord of the Rings, but now that Amazon handed over a billion dollars for their own show, this may reveal the fate of A Song of Ice and Fire as well. George R. R. Martin most likely soiled himself as soon as he heard Amazon was making a Lord of the Rings series. That doesn't have to ruin his whole day though because I know exactly who could fix this. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, MeUndies. Underwear drawers are like the Wild West of wardrobes. There's usually no rhyme or reason to them because anything goes. Some of you might have five different brands with five different fits. Maybe you have some from last Christmas or even three birthdays ago and you have no idea what to expect when you open that drawer in the morning. Well, thanks to MeUndies, you don't have to live that way anymore. Once you feel the buttery soft fabric of MeUndies, all your other pairs will have to go. MeUndies are the only thing I reach for now. Honestly, the other brands don't feel as good. Mine fit me like a glove, and the soft fabric feels great against my skin. They don't make me sweat either. What I also love about MeUndies is their contoured pouch and ball caddy. They come in sizes extra small, all the way up to 4XL. And from all black classics to fun expressive designs, there's a cut and look for everybody. Me Undies isn't only about underwear either. They also have a lounge collection featuring joggers, hoodies, onesies, and more. And they're made from sustainably sourced materials by partners that care for their workers. Me Undies signature fabric is as soft as a warm hug from your favorite sweater. It's breathable, stretchy, and so comfy. They're also perfect for all day wear, no matter what your day might consist of. Even if you're not happy with your first pair of undies for any reason, don't worry, it's on me undies. Now, good things come in big packages at me undies, and right now, they're offering a massive discount for my viewers. You can get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at meundies.com slash talking thrones. All you have to do is go down to the link in my description. You don't want to miss out on this amazing offer. Once again, I have to thank me undies for sponsoring today's video. All right, now let's have a look at what George R. R. Martin said during the interview. George, thank you for sitting down with us, and thank you for coming to Australia. It is, you know, oh, it's my pleasure. pleasure. It's my pleasure. I've been here before, but I, I always enjoy the opportunity to visit uh, visit Australia. You spoke on on the weekend about fan fiction. Will you ever let others write in the world? I mean, you know, I think of the the Star Wars novels that were licensed. Would you ever license others to write in Westeros? 
No, not while I'm alive. But, you know, eventually I will not be alive because Valar Magulis, all men must die. And uh, I, I don't think my wife, if she survives me, uh, will allow that either. But uh, one thing that uh, history has shown us is that eventually uh, these literary rights pass to uh, grandchildren or collateral descendants or people who didn't actually know the writer and don't care about his wishes. They just just a cash cow to them. And then we get abominations to my mind like, uh, you know, Scarlet, the, the Margaret the Gone with the Wind sequel or, or these things that uh, where the grandchildren or great-grandchildren just see an opportunity to make a, a buck. I hate to see that actually. I, you know, I admire, you know, I've always admired Tolkien and uh, he's an immense influence on fantasy. And although I've never met the man, I admire Christopher Tolkien, who's uh, his son, who's been the guardian of uh, Tolkien's estate and has never allowed that. Because I'm sure there's publishers waiting in the wings with giant bags of money just waiting for someone to say, yes, go ahead, write, let's write. Sauron Strikes Back, and I, <laughs> I, I hope I never see Sauron Strikes Back written by some third-rate writer who uh, leaps in at the opportunity. These are characters who've been with you since 1991. I wondered if there was an internally almost a desire not to finish the series. I mean, the, that last, when you write the end, or Finn, or whatever you write at the end of Westeros, the tale, is there a desire to keep it alive? I, I think... When I get to the end, I may very well feel some of that. It's going to be very hard to say goodbye to, to some of these people, the ones who are still alive. Um, but um, at the same time, it's going to be immense relief because the pressure of this, you know, I, I do feel a, a story needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. And um, to put an end on this will be an immense monkey off my back. Uh, you know, I joke about that on my blog, about all the monkeys on my back, the projects I've said yes to, and, and one of the monkeys is King Kong, and that, of course, is, uh, is a song of ice and fire. So King Kong has bowed me down, and it will be nice to get Kong off my back and to have it done at last. And uh, <coughs> know that I've, uh, you know, I've completed the, the entire thing. Although he doesn't want anyone finishing A Song of Ice and Fire, history has shown us that someone eventually will, whether the author actually wants that or not. I'm sure some of you already know there are fans who have been writing the ending themselves, whether it's with the help of AI or other members around the fandom. We have seen this eventually happen with other literary works time and time again. Hopefully this will incentivize George to finish it himself so this doesn't happen. Now that won't stop someone else from writing in his universe in the future, but at least the author would have his own full version and original ideas already out there. Another thing he revealed is how he might find it difficult to let go of the story. I do wonder if this has had any effect on his writing already. I'm sure there are a lot of factors getting in the way of him finishing A Song of Ice and Fire. Now I want to ask all of you this. How many of you would actually want someone else to finish writing his story? Let's say he's not able to release A Dream of Spring. Is there anyone else you would accept as a sort of ghostwriter? There's a lot of us who already assume he has a lot of notes written down about every character and every storyline. If that's the case, then you would only really need another author to come in and fill in the blanks. But what if he doesn't have any notes written down? What if another writer had to create the entire final novel on their own? I'm not sure if I would want that, even if they are a great writer who has read all of A Song of Ice and Fire. It would obviously not be the same as George R. R. Martin writing it himself. We all want the story that's inside his head. The story and ending he has thought about ever since he first started writing this all the way back in the early 1990s. However, with that being said, maybe there is another option that would be acceptable. I know there's many fans who have said Brandon Sanderson should either help him finish it or write it himself. God forbid something should ever happen to George before he's able to release it on his own. Again, I don't like to think about any of this because I love George and I want to see him live forever, but we have to be realistic about the situation he's in. The Winds of Winter still doesn't have a release date, and as far as we know, it might be another decade before he's able to write A Dream of Spring. I already know how most of you feel whenever I make a video about this. I know I'm not the only one who thinks we may never see the final novel. What I want to know is what would you like to happen when and if that day ever does come? Do you want to see someone else finish it? Or would you rather it just be left alone? Let me know what you think down below. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching another video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.